Okay, this is a quick recording. I'm just uh, trying out, I'm doing a shootout between the four microphones that I have here on the desk at the moment. This is the one that I use almost every day. It is normally a USB mic, the way I'm set up for my usual um, recording, uh, you know, for videos and things. But uh, today I've got everything running into the Rodecaster over here. And I have, so this is the uh, Shure MV7 going into the Rodecaster on my sort of standard settings. And uh, you can hear the gate kicking in and out and those kinds of things. And, uh, you know, I really do like how it sounds. Um, and it's almost as good coming through USB. So that that's pretty good. But then the second mic here, this one right here, right here. Well, this is a Marshall MXL 2001. Now, this is a condenser microphone. It's actually the first microphone I bought to use for podcasting. It sounds pretty good, but as you can hear when the gate is open, it's picking up a lot of room noise and a lot of other sound from the whole house, really. And so it's not ideal for your average microphone, you know, podcasting and, and live stream setup. But it's a great sounding microphone, so I'm not getting rid of it. It may come in handy at some point for one purpose or another. And then I'm going to switch over. Next over here is the Rode. This is the Rode Pod mic. And it, I would say it is a pretty good comparison to this um, Shure MV7. I'm going to swap back. This is the Shure MV7, which has the gate on it and all that. And I haven't fine-tuned. Actually, let me look at the processing on the... Um, on the... Oh, yeah, on, on the... Yeah, so there's the noise gate doing its thing. And of course, doggy in the background chewing on her thing. And let me see what else I have set up. Whoops. Okay, so there's, there's that. And, and, and as you can see, I'm messing with the noise gate settings a little bit. Um, I like a quicker release and uh, <clears throat> shorter hold on things with a gate. And okay, so there's the gate when it's, yeah, it's just, it's very sensitive. So it's very sensitive. So I'm going to have to open things up a little bit and uh, shorten that attack a little. And, uh, you know, yeah, there, okay. So there will, I'd have to tinker with it a little more when I'm actually closer on mic, like I would be for a podcast recording. And uh, let me see what I've got going with the, the big bottom is active. The oral exciter is not. Now here's with, yeah, that's not going to make much difference. So, all right. Um, now I'm going to come over here. This is the second mic I bought for podcasting, the Heil PR40. And uh, it's, I think it's my favorite sound. It's got, boy, the big bottom is, is active there. <laughs> let me, uh, <coughs> let me play with that a little bit. Take it out of the mix just a hair. Yeah, but th I think this gives me the richest sort of radio voice sound that I can get. Uh, which may be a little too much for some instances. And um, yeah, you know, I can, uh, as I'm fine tuning it, I'm, I'm listening. How does my voice sound? And uh, uh, they, yeah, that's taking it up a little higher, take that out of the mix a little more, you know, it's sort of, this is what it sounds like without the oral, the, the big bottom. And this is what it sounds like when it's in. And then if I come on, turn that oral exciter on, it gets a little brighter, it gets a little more of the, the sibilance and the, the, breath sound in there that I think actually sounds pretty good. So, uh, you know, my two favorites that are, that are here right now are the Shure and the, uh, and the Heil. And here's the Shure. It's a little less boomy in the bass. And, um, let me, I'm actually going to mess with it a little. So that's the Shure. Now I've, now I've bumped up the boominess a bit. So, uh, Maybe it, it, maybe it does sound pretty good. So I'm actually going to keep them both open. And when I'm on mic here close, it sounds pretty darn good. And when I'm over here, it sounds pretty darn good. It's not the same sound, but it, they both sound good. And they both are an accurate representation of my voice. So um, I'm, I'm pretty happy with this and, and how it's set up. Now, if I'm back here from and I'm going into both of them, uh, you know, a little distant from the mics, they sound... This is the Shure. This is the uh, Heil. I think I like the Heil a little better, but 
it's not a USB mic, so I need some kind of an interface. And uh, I've got something on the way that I'm going to check out and try. And uh, well, we'll see what we we'll see what we get. But I just thought I would come in and and pop that into the uh, into the <laughs> the mix, as it were, uh, so we can make some decisions about what I'm going to be doing on a going forward basis. And that's it for this uh, little shootout between the two mics. I'm back on the uh, the MV7 and back to that condenser, that MXL, which also I think sounds really really good for you know this this kind of purpose. And now this is the uh, pod mic. So I think that if you are looking for a microphone, pretty much any of these will be good for your needs. Um, with the pod mic and the oral exciter turned off, I think it actually sounds, eh, it's a lot of sort of re reverberation in the room. I think that uh, noise gate might need, needs a little adjustment. The noise gate is a little under performing i guess and then what else do i have here let's see other got a high pass filter if i turn that on that doesn't make much of a difference um compression compression's active that might be a thing now i've turned the compression off and yeah that it's still that noise gate is the area where i need to be thinking about things now i just turned off the on the de -er and off the de -er. it's not much of a difference so yeah, it's really going to come down to that uh, that uh, big bottom and uh, bumping that up a bit more, maybe a little more drive on that, and then now I'm I'm guessing that's a pretty rich chocolatey sound for my voice. So anyway, that that's it. I'm going to go back to the Heil. Here I am on the Heil mic, and. Um, Pretty happy with how that sounds. And now back over to the MV7. Here's the MV7 standing alone. So uh, you let me know. What do you think?